Hello everyone. The basic purpose of uh, this tutorial is to give give you idea about defining the periodicity in the ICM CFD. So we have selected the four cases which you normally face in your CFD career. Maybe all of them or maybe only one of them. So we are covering these four aspects or the four scenarios. The one is the cascade that is the geometry of the turbo machinery in the 2D fashion. Uh, it can be extended to the 3D case. The second case is the 3D hexa with axis passing through the center. Third is the th th simple 3D hexa mesh. And the fourth one is the 3D tetra mesh. So we'll start with the part one where we will explain the method of defining the periodicity for the 2D cascades. And the method we will use is the patch dependent method. Okay, so the method we choose is the page dependent and uh, we'll not define any periodicity here in the global mesh setup. Although the product condition is apart by the distance of the 0 0.094, which can be defined here in the transmission of periodicity. Like if you want to define it, this is going to be the, the Y coordinate, so it's the 0 0.094, but it does not have any benefit of defining here because it's not going to take effect of this thing while we define the mesh. So if we define it or not, def or not define it, it's, it has the same effect. That's why I'm not, I'm not defining it, but if you want to define it, you can define it, but that's not going to make any difference here. So just go there and compute the mesh. Okay, now go to the edit mesh menu and from here choose repair mesh option and in the repair mesh option choose the make or remove product conditions. Before that applying this condition that is the to make product just uncheck the points and curves from the mesh uncheck the shells or surface mesh and also from the part list uncheck the R1 blade 1 blade 2 inlet and the outlet boundaries so we are just left with the two periodic boundaries here now right click on the mesh and click on periodicity. Again right click on the mesh and click on the dot nodes like this. Now choose the nodes we, which we want to make the product. So we have to choose them in the pairs. So one and two now they become the product. This red and shows that the, these nodes are product pair of the each other and also at the outlet. You can continue with all these uh, nodes. Okay. And this will perfectly define the prodigy. So let me do it. This can be a very cumbersome job and may require a lot of time when we have the many parts or uh, the mesh is just too fine. This can be the hectic exercise. But I have the solution for this problem and uh, which I'm going to explain to you shortly. But first let me
do this lengthy method and then I will teach you how this can be done with a very simple method. Okay, now go to the output mesh, define boundary conditions. Okay, make it velocity inlet, the outlet condition, create new. This can be defined as a pressure outlet, but this is, again, this, this depends on the your requirement. I'm just defining them for the purpose of this tutorial, but you have to define boundary conditions as per your requirements. Accept and output the mesh the 2d case done now open the fluent make sure this is a 2d option is selected Read the mesh file. And as you can see, we have the destroyed conditions defined here. And it's now one condition. The both boundaries are in the inside the one product condition. Okay, but this was the lengthy method. So just let me remove the product from these nodes. Okay, now again use option make product and just make product the, the two nodes, two node pairs on the inlet and outlet boundaries. Now just go to the output mesh and repeat the same procedure we have done. Previously, okay, so overwrite the mesh file read the mesh file this will give you some error but don't worry about this thing just continue with the ok ok now go to the text user interface and use the command which is the define and then use the boundary, condi uh, boundary conditions command so just type the two letters BC and then use the command which is the modify zones. Just use the two letters which are the MZ and then we have the condition which is the make product. Use the MP. Okay, now you can put the information about the product zone so you can either put the name of the this boundary which is the r1 underscore per1 or just the id of the this boundary so we will use the boundary id which is easy to input the shadow zone is the second one which is here and id is the 14 do you want the rotation product no if you select a no, then we will have the transitional prodigy. So, because we have the transitional prodigy, so just write the no here and press enter. Do you want to create a product zone? So, yes, option is already selected. You have to just click on the enter. Auto detected translation vector, yes. So, just press the enter key. So one extra zone is deleted and we have only left with the one boundary here. <coughs> and if you check the mesh, it's just fine. Report quality is also fine. Thank you. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any queries, you can write the email ID which is given in the description of this video. Thank you.